Today you're going to learn how to take this image and put it inside a text using Photoshop. So we're going to make it look like the leaves are kind of growing out of this text with some white outlines going around it. So this is a nice realistic looking image inside some abstract text. So if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I come out with videos daily. And if you have any questions about any of the steps that we're about to take, you can comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. So let's get started. So we're going to start by flipping this image over. So I want this part of the image to be straight. So there's this light, nice clear line of leaves right here. And I want the text to be kind of going across that. So to flip the image, you just press Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to flip it over and make sure that this is on a straight line. It doesn't need to be too perfect. And I'm just going to resize it and make sure it kind of covers up uh, most of the canvas. So I think it's right just about there. I hit enter there. So next I'm just going to write the text over it. So to create, to write some text, just click on this little T icon here. And I'm going to click right in the middle of the canvas. And I'm going to make sure it, the text is aligned to the middle at the top. So it says a right line to the right, but I'm going to align it to the middle. And I'm just going to type in uh, nature. So you can type in any text that you want. I'm just going to type in nature. And I'm also going to, so you can choose your font right here as well. So I've just chosen this font called Roboto. You might not have this font installed. You can just um, Google uh, free fonts and just search up Roboto. That's R-O-B-O-T-O. -O -O. And or you can just use some other font. But I'm just going to use this font here. So this is one of my favorite fonts. And I'm just going to resize this text as well by clicking, by pressing Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. Or you can also press, just go to edit and free transform and you can uh, resize that image. And what I'm going to do, what I want is the, this, uh, the leaves to be inside of the text. So I'm just going to resize the text a little bit more and make sure that's nicely centered right here. Now I want the leaves to be inside the text. So to do that, I'm going to create another layer. Actually, I might rename this layer to leaves. And I'm going to create another extra copy of the leaves layer. So now we have leaves and leaves copy layer. So if you don't see this layer window, just go to windows and click on layers right here. And now I'm going to hold control or press control and I'm going to click on the text layer right here where it says nature. So that's going to create a selection here. So you can see those little dashed lines. Those that's a selection. So we have a selection or an outline of the, the the text that we want. So what we want is just the the image, the image of the leaves inside of this outline. So first, I'm just going to hide the leaves original copy right here. So you click on this little eye icon and that hides it. And then I'm going to click on the leaves copy layer and I'm going to click on this little tool called the masking tool. That's on the bottom right hand corner. It's a little circle and a square icon. So now the text will be inside of uh, the image will be inside of the text. So now we can start editing this and making the leaves kind of come out of the text and all that. So to do that, I'm going to reveal the leaves original image here again. But this time I'm going to lower its opacity. So click on that layer and lower, lower its opacity. So now what we can do is we can see what we need to reveal from this uh, image to make it look like the, the leaves are kind of growing out of this text. So we need to place the leaves image in the right position inside the nature text. So to do that, you need to click off this little clip icon right here. So on the leaves copy layer, so select that layer and click off this little clip icon. So that clip shouldn't be there. So now when you choose the move tool and when you start moving it, you can see it moving inside of the text. If I didn't click on, um, if that clip is on, so I can see the clip now, you'll, you'll see the entire text moving. So when you click this clip off, you can move what's inside the text. When you click it on, you'll move everything. So what I'm going to do is just undo all of that. Let's just, I just want to start from where we had before. So it's Control Z to undo on, um, on Windows and Command Z on a Mac. So, uh, now what I want to do is move all of this together. So I want to move the leaves copy, which is in the background with the low opacity. And I want to uh, move what's inside the text as well. So I'm going to select both of the layers. 
by pressing um, control so I have two layers selected so it's command on a Mac to, to select two layers and now I can move all of them together so now I can see exactly where I want to place the leaves so I want to place it just right so you can still read the text but it still looks like all these leaves kind of growing out of the text as well so I think this spot may be right here I think the A is a bit too covered so it's, it is quite hard sometimes you, you, you can still flip it over if you want it as well so maybe I could play around with um, this kind of flip it over make sure I get the E in there as well yeah I think it looks quite good there I think I like it there yeah just about there maybe I can even resize it a little bit but I'm just gonna hit enter there and just see what that looks like so now what you can do is you can start revealing parts of the leaves so I'm just gonna increase the opacity of the leaves background layer just a little bit so we can kind of see it a bit more clearly and now I'm going to choose this little box right here so that's called the layer mask box and I'm also going to clip the make sure the clip is on this time as well because I want everything to stay together now so when you press alt and when you click on the layer mask box you can see this right here so you can just see the text so anything that's uh, white is revealed and anything that's black is hidden so if you press alt again and click back into the normal image you can see anything that's white so this it was white right here so that's revealed and anything that's black it's, it's hidden so we can see it right now because we have an extra leaves copy layer but it's actually hidden in that layer so we're just going to use this layer at the bottom as a guide to see what we need to reveal in the background because we want to get that effect of all of these leaves growing out of the text so if I go back to this layer the leaves copy layer and I choose a white brush tool so let me just choose this brush right here and resize it to maybe like this size here or maybe a little bit smaller actually and I'm also going to put the hardness to about let's just say about 88 percent just yeah about around 85 to 90 percent and I'm going to choose a white brush to reveal because I want to reveal what's over here so watch what happens when I start painting so make sure you have the layer mask box selected because if you have the image uh, selected you're just going to paint white into the image you want to paint white into the layer mask uh, box so let me show you what I mean so I've just chosen so it's time to hide it now so you can see it's getting the uh, it's getting it's time to hide it that's because I haven't chosen a white color so you need to choose a white color to reveal so now you can see it's time to reveal it so now I can reveal parts the leaves so I can kind of get into those little hard edges by just making the brushes a bit smaller let me just get into those little bits and I'll show you what it looks like soon. Let me just make this a little bit smaller here. Cool, that looks good there. Maybe I'll get these little bits here as well. Yep, it looks good there too. Cool, so I think that looks pretty good. So I think we revealed that leaf. So if I hide the the, the layer in the background you can see we still need to reveal a little bit more so let me just make the brush a little bit bigger and it'll reveal all of these little white spots here all well, that let's just zoom out and see what that looks like so you can see the leaves the leaf kind of coming out of it and if I press alt and I click on the layer mask box now you can see we painted this part uh, white so now we can uh, we so it's uh, white to reveal and black to hide so now let's keep going. So I'm going to press um, uh, Alt again and click this off. And so let's keep going and reveal the rest of the leaves. So I might speed up the video. So all you do is just choose the paintbrush tool. Make sure you have the layer mask selected. Choose a white color and just paint over it to reveal the text, to reveal the, um, the, the leaves. So I'm just going to speed up the video and just reveal all of these leaves right here.
I think it looks pretty good there. So what we can do now is kind of put like a white outline around the text to kind of reveal the text a little bit more because it, it is a little quite hard to read the text now like the T and the U because the leaves are kind of growing over it. So we can put like an outline around the, the text to, to make it uh, easy to read. So I'm just going to add a gray background to this. So to do this, I'm just going to go into to the uh, background layer and I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm just going to name it gray background. And I'm going to choose the color picker tool right here. And I'm just going to choose a really light gray just about there. And I'm going to hit OK and choose the paint bucket tool. And let's just paint the background gray. So you might not be able to see that. It's just a really light gray. Actually, I might make a slightly darker gray. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is choose this text layer that we had before. So this is the text layer that we uh, created at the start. So I'm just going to hold control and click on the text layer again. So I'm going to create another um, outline of the text layer. So let's go back to the gray background and I'm going to create another layer. And this time I'll just name this layer white outline. And before we actually paint this white, I'm just going to go select and make sure you, you, you still have the selection there. So this you can tell that there's a still a selection there by uh, seeing that there's a white dashed line here. So just choose select, go to modify and click on expand. So we're going to expand the selection by about let's just say six pixels. So now you can see it's slightly expanded. So before it was um, it was just right up, up against the text. Now it's expanded by about six pixels. So you can expand it even more if you want. Um, so if it's not enough, you can just go back and just click on expand again and you can expand it by another six pixels. So I think that's good enough. That looks like a nice and thick um, selection. So now you can paint that selection white. So let me, oh, so I painted that gray. So I chose the same gray color that we had before. So that was a mistake. So let, let me just choose the white color here and then paint it white. Now you can see a white color. So you can just paint all of that, all of those selections. And let's hit deselect. So if you press control D, that just uh, deselects all your selections. So now let's zoom out. Now you can see, a, see it a bit more clearly. So you can see the the, the text a bit more clearly now since there's a, a white outline going around it. So it will look even more clear if you just also add some drop shadow to the to the white outline. So the way you do that is by clicking on the white outline layer, go to layer, go to layer style, and then click on uh, drop shadow. <clears throat> so this, now you can see that the drop shadow there already, but you can play around with these settings right here to kind of create the exact type of shadow that you want. So you can, if you play around with distance, you can move the shadow all the way down. So you can kind of maybe keep it just around there and you can adjust the spread of the shadow. So the shadow could be quite big and you can also uh, choose the size of the shadow too. So the size of the blur. So it kind of gets a bit more blurry even if I push this further. So I'm just going to reduce this, the length a little bit there. Cool. And you can also play with the angle. So you can um, you can twist this around. Maybe the shadow, maybe the light's coming from this way. So the shadow will be that way. But I'm just going to leave it at 90 degrees. So now just to finish off, I just want to make the text even more easy to read. So the way you make it easier to read is by revealing more of that uh, white outline. So to do that, I'm going to create another extra layer of the white outline here. So you just uh, click on the white outline layer, click and drag this into the new layer icon right here. So that new layer icon is there's like a little uh, paper icon. Just drag it into that and you'll create another extra copy of that layer. So I'm going to click off the effects on that layer. So we get rid of the shadows on that. And I'm also going to hold control and I'm going to click on the nature layer right here. So let me just push. Uh, before I actually do that, let me just push the white outline copy layer just above everything else. And now I'm going to hold control and click on the nature layer text. And make sure you have the white outline uh, layer selected and I'm just going to hit delete. So now you can see the outline just above all of the text now. So I'm going to hide parts of this outline and also reveal parts of it. So I might reveal it just over here. So I want to keep all of this revealed. So all you need to do now is just click on the masking tool, choose the layer mask, and then you just choose a white color to hide things. So you need to hide all of this. 
So I'm just going to hide all of this right here because we don't need all of that. And But I want to keep this part revealed. So let's keep that there. So that, that looks pretty cool there. And maybe I'm going to hide this part of the text here. And maybe kind of so just made a slight mistake there as well, just in part of that leaf. So let me just get rid of that. Cool. Now let's zoom out, see what that T looks like. So I think that looks much better. It's kind of growing. It's kind of going through the, the T. And let's maybe also edit this part as well. So I don't want this to be going right over the A and the N. So let's choose the uh, paintbrush tool, choose uh, black to hide on the layer mask. So make sure you have the layer mask selected. And let's just hide everything right here. So I might keep this there because that actually looks pretty cool when it's kind of going over the A. And I might actually keep that there as well. So let's just zoom out and see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's have a look at the R now. So we need to, because before it kind of looked like a, just a P. So we need to kind of bring that all of these lines back here. So what I might do is just hide all these bits here. Um, yeah, hiding these bits here is nothing wrong with that. But I might keep, actually might bring that back. So to bring that back, just choose a white color. And you can just bring all of that back here. And I might actually keep that uh, like this over here. But on the E, I might hide these bits here. So to hide, I'm going to choose another black color and hide these right here. So let's zoom out, see what that looks like. So I think that looks a lot better now. It's so much easier to read. And you can also add a drop shadow to this again if you wanted to, but that doesn't look good. So you can click that off or you can um, even lower the opacity on the ones going at over the top. Just like that, or you can kind of just leave it white. But I think that looks so much better now with the um, the lines kind of going over the leaves and uh, underneath it and all that. So it's so much easier to read. And it's also got this nice look, all these leaves kind of growing out of it. So it's a nice, cool looking effect. So you can use this effect on like, um, you know, a cover of a photo, uh, of a book or the st a starting page of a website. There's so many different options here. You can get really creative with this. So if you have like a fire image, I would just type in fire and have the fire kind of coming out of the text and all that. So uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. And make sure you stay subscribed so you'll be notified when the next video drops. So I'll see you in that next video.